Hi, my name is Warren. Um, yeah, I work at Embraco, a .NET Core open source CMS. Um, anyway, not going to talk about Embraco today. Uh, I want to talk about uh, .NET Core or ASP.NET 6 in this case. Um, I was just browsing uh, the GitHub repository and the kind of the, the projects or the, the platform stuff. And then just I was just nosing around in the kind of the completing column, like what they're kind of getting close to being .NET 6 being done or released uh, with November fast approaching. And then I was just uh, seeing kind of what took or what was interesting to me uh, in the completed column. And I noticed there was one or a card called uh, CSS isolation for ASP.NET Core web application for CS CSHTML files. So not Razor pages, not Blazor stuff. Um, so more the the MVC views that um, that we over in Embraco uh, use uh, we're more familiar with. So I wanted to have a look and have a bit of a play around. So yeah, there's this uh, GitHub issue, and then I kind of uh, done a bit of digging. So yeah, you can create a uh, as long as the name of the file uh ends in .css so in this case login.cshtml and then append.css then i can get uh isolated or scoped css um very very cool works in the same way as they do for blazor uh because i've done a bit more digging and uh dig into kind of merged uh, uh issues or code so then i was figuring out how it kind of works um all in all, it's going to work exactly the same, as far as I'm aware. And then, uh, yeah, then, then there's some cross-referencing again, uh, saying uh, about the documentation team, um, saying that they would like to document it, um, just because yeah, it's a new feature, and maybe people are not aware of it. Um, so hence, I thought I'd do this video, just uh, as a, a way to make you aware that this is coming, or this is in .NET 6, one of the previews currently. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. Um, so I'm going to open Visual Studio 2022 preview. And let's bring it on my window over here. And I'm going to create a new project. And what am I going to create? I am going to create um, is it the web app one. I can never remember now. C sharp. It's the web app. And there we go. Now, the web app with the MVC model view controllers. I'm going to go with that approach. Um, yeah, for now, I'll just call it web application 6. And I want to be on the .NET 6 preview because obviously this feature is only in .NET 6. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to go next, next, next. Or create. And then let's move Visual Studio over here. And let's. Uh, run the application just to see it running and booting make sure it's all okay so what I'm gonna do uh, will I want uh, this uh, welcome page that has a I think this is a header a header one let's take a look h1 is it uh, yes it is Perfect. Um, I'm going to want this specific H1 on only the index page or the home page to be a different color. And then if I go to privacy, is this, uh, is this a H1? So this is a H1 as well. Um, so yeah. Cool. So what I'm going to do is in views. So I could do this for partials as well, as far as I'm aware. But for now, I'm going to uh, right click and go add. Uh, and I'm going to add a new file. I assume eventually the Visual Studio or tooling team eventually might be able to have uh, a right click on a view and then go add scope CSS or add file from having the view uh, in the tree highlighted. But for now, I do add and we're going to do add new item and then I'm going to search for CSS so style sheet and then I'm going to call it exactly the same index.cshtml so cshtml.css 
and I am just going to have a very specific style for a H1 that's visible in this view or on this page or in this partial view or this component, however you want to think about it. So it's going to be scoped um, only to this page. So I want to say, uh, let's make it uh, green or something. Let's save that. So that's part way done. So the next thing that we need to do is to update uh, the layout. And then I'm going to need to refer to the documentation on uh, Blazor because it works in this practically the same way. So here it was about CSS isolation. And obviously it's talking about dot razor dot CSS, but obviously in our case it's dot CSS, CSHTML dot CSS. So it all works in the same way and the bundling. Um, but we need a reference to the kind of generated or bundled CSS. So I need to put that in my top level layout. So let's go back to and then obviously you can see it says assembly name. So obviously in my case, uh, my project's called Web Application 6. So that's what my assembly name is also going to be. So Web Application 6.styles.css. So I'm going to save that. <coughs> Excuse me. And run. And then we can open Chrome Tools and take a look around what's going on. So the joys of uh, demo gods failing me. I'm sure it pretty is. So let's stop and uh, restart. not I'll do it from the CLI as opposed to Visual Studio. So I'm getting no output in the console window. Okay. So let's browse on disk. Open folder in File Explorer, opening Windows Terminal, and then let's do a .net talk, .net run, and let's see what happens. Perfect, I can now run on port 5001, and you can see I've got a green H1 now, perfect. If I go to the privacy page, uh, this is still black, um, so let's take a quick look and see how this is working. So this H1 doesn't have anything else uh, applied to it. So if I go back to the home page, um, this H1, you can see uh, all the elements have this custom um, uh, attribute, which obviously doesn't really exist in HTML land. It's not, uh, but it doesn't obviously invalidate or break anything. Um, so you can see I've got B hyphen and then uh, like a random uh, GUID or hash or generated code here for me. And then the CSS is automatically generating. Uh, if I go back to do, 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 and I click on my H1 and we open uh, the web application six styles that we added to the page. You can see uh, you know, where it's coming from. You can see and it's added uh, a h1 but it's added uh, this kind of very specific scope now so only h1s that have uh, this data or this attribute on the h1 element so there we go that's scoped uh, styles coming in .NET Core 6 for uh, CS HTML uh, views now not just uh, razor pages and blazer stuff so very nice um, yeah for now, I'm going to keep on digging uh, through this lovely project and backlog and see if I can find any other tidbits. Cool. I hope you found that useful. Um, yeah, perfect. Cheers. Bye.